Hello, I wanted to tell you a little bit about my experience with the anti-cancer lifestyle program. I was chosen to go through a research study when I was going through breast cancer to learn more about lifestyle and how lifestyle influences chronic disease. And I, I thought I knew a lot about nutrition and health because I've been on a diet my entire life and I was physically active. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll participate. You guys, I only knew about 10% of what they taught. And I feel like I'm educated. I mean, I'm a questioner. I'm gonna look things up. I'm gonna research things. And I only knew about 10%. You know, I thought, you know, I'm overweight, I'm fat, but really all that hurts is like, it's no fun when you go shopping for clothes, you know? <laughs> I didn't realize that your fat produces estrogen and I have estrogen driven breast cancer. And I didn't know that food could be categorized as health supporting and health depleting. I always learned that it was about calories. You know, and if I ate fewer calories, then I was being healthier. I could, instead of getting a big hamburger, I could get a small hamburger. And that's, that's all I needed to worry about were calories. I didn't know, you know, I thought meditation was kind of weird. You know, I'd never tried it. You know, I was like, what do you do, sit around? Mm, I, I don't know what that is. I don't know what you're doing. You know, I didn't realize that your brain needs to slow down and get plugged in to work effectively, but makes sense, you know? And all the vegetables I ate mostly came out of a can. <laughs> and I didn't realize that if the can is lined with BPA, it's got estrogen in it too. So once again, I'm feeding my breast driven, my bre estrogen driven breast cancer. So, you know, while I've been on it now for three years, I've been living the anti-cancer lifestyle and I haven't given up anything. I have gained so much. I've lost 58 pounds. I'm in better shape than I've ever been in. I feel healthier. My mind is more alert. I've cleaned out the environment. I make nutrition, health supporting food, not from a can. <laughs> exercise consistently, meditation. You can meditate when you walk your dogs. You don't have to, you know, there's a lot of ways to meditate. You don't have to just be still. And I recommend this program for everybody, not just for people with chronic illnesses like cancer, like I have. I wish I would have been doing it all my life. You know, I'm teaching my grandkids to do it. My kids are doing it. You don't want to get sick before you learn how to be healthy. So just do it. 